front of the contest. Smith goes to ground. Look out. Here's Bedford. Toe pokes to advantage. He's got a runner to the outside. And if Baker gets it and goes, no one's going to catch him. It's a 5 he have a bounce. Oh, his handball went behind Dunstan. And the moment is lost. Oh. But they might have botched it themselves, Bruce. But look at the numbers here for the Ds. How is that not a goal? Surely it still will be, and it is. Had to be. Van Ruin gets it. Baker wants someone to come at him. So we'll pop it up towards Van Ruin with strength. Got right in Madden. Did the job early. Madden wants a free kick. Brilliant body work from Van Ruin. He just timed that to perfection. Yeah, it kills you, doesn't it? Brisbane have owned the first and 10 50. minutes, the first 10, 12 minutes of this third quarter. And this is going to just level the scoring up in the third quarter and give the momentum straight back to the Ds. Van Ruin gets his second. It's a really dangerous kick to the top of the square and Baker using his legs again, the INC Sports Nutrition replay. The timing of when to find the body was absolutely perfect and that's as a young developing forward what you get better and better at. Under 18s you're just a run and jump at the ball type of player because you're of your athleticism. But when you come up against bigger, stronger guys you need to time that and that was brilliant. They'd hate to get it injured. Bo's kick was bowled to the middle but cut off by Chandler. He can get it in quickly. They've got numbers over the back. Van Ruin in best position. You don't give your defenders much opportunity when the turnover comes there. Lions trying to be bold and aggressive. Uh, you don't, and you don't blame them. You've got to keep trying to pull the trigger on those inside corridor kicks. But uh, Van Ruin, he's got vice-like grip and uh, he had a lot of time and space. Very hard if you're stuck under the ball as a defender. Chance to kick his 36th goal of the season. Jacob Van Ruin, surely headed for AFL action in 2023. As the Ds continue to tinker with their forward line at AFL level. He's had a fine year, his first season in Victoria. And come across from WA. He's a player. He's kicked three. Yeah, well, you look at the Melbourne forward line. You know, Melksham's not getting any younger. Ben Brown as well. He's an he's ageing type. Um, Tommy McDonald, who's out there playing for Casey today's 30 plus. So he is the future of, of that forward line. Bailey Fritch is in the key forward. Pickett's a, a, a brilliant crumbing forward, but he's a guy that you could really build your team around, especially if Luke Jackson goes west. And, and it would seem going into last night's match that he jumped the queue, hadn't he? He jumped in front of Brown, he jumped in front of Tom McDonald being considered, he jumped in Wiedemann. front of Wiedemann. So yeah, he was next up last night and hindsight's a beautiful thing that the way he's moving and creating that, less pressure on the ball and the situation today, but yeah, he's been really impressive, in particular the back half of the VFL year. He's married up to those senior bodies and really contributed strongly.